let's talk about celecoxib. It's a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, also known as an NSAID. It works by relieving pain and swelling, specifically for arthritis, acute pain, and menstrual discomfort. This medication helps you to perform your normal daily activities. If you're dealing with chronic arthritis, it's a good idea to ask your doctor about other treatments or medications. Celecoxib works by blocking an enzyme in your body that produces prostaglandins, which reduces pain and swelling. The recommended dosage and timing for taking this medication should be discussed with your doctor. Before you start taking celecoxib, make sure to read the medication guide provided by your pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth as directed by your doctor, usually once or twice daily with food to decrease the chance of stomach upset. The dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment. Remember to take this medication at the lowest effective dose and only for the prescribed length of time. Take this medication with a full glass of water unless your doctor directs you otherwise and do not lie down for at least 10 minutes after taking it. For conditions like arthritis, it may take up to two weeks of taking this drug regularly before you get the full benefit. If you are taking this drug on an as-needed basis, remember that it works best if used as the first signs of pain occur. If you wait until the pain has worsened, the medication may not work as well. If you experience stomach upset or gas, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know. Remember, the benefits of this medication outweigh the potential side effects. However, it's important to monitor your blood pressure regularly, as this medication may raise it. Be sure to tell your doctor if you experience any serious side effects, such as severe headache, signs of kidney problems, or symptoms of heart failure. In rare cases, this medication may cause liver disease, so seek medical help if you experience symptoms such as nausea, loss of appetite, or severe stomach pain. While serious allergic reactions are rare, it's important to seek medical help if you experience symptoms like fever, rash, or trouble breathing. If you notice any other effects, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like celecoxib may rarely increase the risk of a heart attack or stroke, especially if taken for a long time. This risk may be higher for older adults or those with certain health conditions. It's important not to take celecoxib right before or after heart bypass surgery. There's also a rare risk of serious bleeding from the stomach or intestines while taking this drug, especially for older adults. If you experience severe abdominal pain, bloody or black stools, or vomit that looks like coffee grounds, seek medical help immediately. It's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist about the potential risks and benefits of using celecoxib. They can help you determine the optimal daily dosage and the best time to take this medication. Before taking celecoxib, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies, including allergies to aspirin, other NSAIDs, other COX-2 inhibitors, or any inactive ingredients in the product. It's also important to discuss your medical history, especially if you have asthma, liver disease, stomach-slash-intestine-slash-esophagus problems, heart disease, high blood pressure, stroke, blood disorders, growths in the nose, kidney disease, or if you are an older adult. Kidney problems can sometimes occur with the use of celecoxib, especially if you are dehydrated, have heart failure, or are taking certain medications. It's important to stay hydrated and monitor your urine output. Additionally, daily use of alcohol and tobacco may increase your risk for stomach bleeding, so it's important to limit alcohol and smoking. Before having surgery, make sure to inform your doctor about all the medications and products you are using. Older adults may be at greater risk for certain complications while using this drug. For children with a certain type of arthritis, there may be an increased risk for a serious bleeding-slash-clotting problem, so it's important to seek medical help right away if any concerning symptoms develop. Women of childbearing age should discuss the benefits and risks of using celecoxib with their doctor, especially if they are pregnant or planning to become pregnant. This medication may harm an unborn baby and should be used with caution during pregnancy. It may also pass into breast milk, so it's important to consult with your doctor before breastfeeding. Remember that celecoxib may interact with other medications, so it's important to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Some products that may interact with celecoxib include aliscarin, ACE inhibitors, angiotensin II receptor blockers, citifover, lithium, and diuretics. 
This medication may also increase the risk of bleeding when taken with other drugs that also may cause bleeding, such as antiplatelet drugs and blood thinners. It's important to check all prescription and non-prescription medicine labels carefully, as many medications contain pain relievers slash fever reducers that are similar to celecoxib and may increase your risk of side effects if taken together. However, if your doctor has directed you to take low-dose aspirin to prevent heart attack or stroke, you should continue taking it unless your doctor instructs you otherwise. Be sure to ask your doctor or pharmacist for more details. If someone has taken too much celecoxib and experiences severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to call for emergency help right away. You can contact a poison control center for guidance on what to do next. Symptoms of a celecoxib overdose may include severe stomach pain, coffee ground-like vomit, changes in the amount of urine, slow or shallow breathing, severe headache, or loss of consciousness. If you're in the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and if you're in Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center. Never share your medication with others. Your doctor may want to perform lab and or medical tests, such as blood pressure, complete blood count, and liver-slash-kidney function while you are taking celecoxib. It's important to keep all medical and lab appointments. Make sure to consult your doctor for more details. In addition to taking celecoxib, your doctor may recommend non-drug treatments for arthritis, such as weight loss if needed, and strengthening and conditioning exercises to help improve your flexibility, range of motion, and joint function. Be sure to consult your doctor for specific instructions. If you forget to take a dose of celecoxib, take it as soon as you remember. If it's close to the time for your next dose, just skip the missed one. Take your next dose at the usual time. Don't take double the dose to make up for the missed one. It's important to store celecoxib at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Avoid storing it in the bathroom and keep it out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to discarding the medication, make sure to do so properly by consulting your pharmacist or local waste disposal company. Do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. And remember to discard the product when it's expired or no longer needed. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.